Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about qualitative research design. So, we have been knowing about quantitative research design like through experimental research design, pre-experimental research design, non-experimental research design and so on. But some studies you cannot do using quantitative research design methods. You have to follow only qualitative research design methods. So before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Also, you can watch our channel playlist BSc Nursing Research and Statistics for more nursing research and statistics related videos. Almost 90% of the syllabus we have been posted till now. So you can watch it and you can get benefited. So what is qualitative research design? Qualitative research design is a research method used by scientists and researchers for studying human behavior, opinions, themes and motivations. So some uh, studies uh, which study about human behavior or opinion, themes and motivations are better studied by means of qualitative research designs. Let's see the types of qualitative research design. So we have so many types of qualitative research designs. What are they? Case studies, historical studies, phenomenological studies, ethnographic studies, action studies and grounded theory studies. So these are all the different types of qualitative research design. So you have six types. Case studies, historical studies, phenomenological studies, ethnographic studies, action research studies and grounded theory studies. Let's see one by one in detail. Case studies. What is case study? It is an inquiry or investigation uh, about uh, a particular case. So it is an inquiry design found in many fields, especially evaluation in which the researcher develops an in-depth analysis of a case, often a program, event, activity, process of one or more individuals. So here about one case or more individual case about an event activity or a process you are doing an in-depth analysis or in-depth investigation or inquiry you are doing. So that is called as case study. Moving on to the features of case study, it research on a phenomena by studying in depth on a single case. For example, the case can be an individual person and even a group or an institution. So it studies the um, phenomena by studying in depth analysis of a single case. For example, the case can be a single person or an event or a group or an institution. So what is the purpose of this case study? The primary purpose of this case study design is to study in-depth analysis of a case. So that is the purpose. So you are doing an in-depth analysis of your particular case. The case can be what? The case can be an individual person or an event or a group or an institution. Next is historical research studies. Already we have posted a video on historical research study. So I will be giving the um, link in the description box or in the suggested end card and i card. So you can watch it. So just I am uh, telling what is uh, historical research study design. If you want detailed explanation about historical research, you can watch our channel playlist or the link what has been provided in the end card or description box. So historical studies analyze the meaning of past events history means itself what my it means it is past events in an attempt to interpret the facts and explain the cause of events and their effects in the present events so history means you are studying about the past events and you are correlating with the present events and we can predict or we can anticipate what will be happening in the future. For example, now the scenario, the corona also know. Previously and all, they are telling like this pandemic, they had spine flu like that uh, and all. 
okay so in such cases and all what they have uh, done and how they have come out of the disease condition or the pandemic condition how they have handled so if you are going to study about that past thing so you can plan for the present scenario and what anticipate you can you can predict the future also so this is with regard to historical research study let's see the features and purposes of historical research study so systematic collection and objective evaluation of data related to past so you are not doing present thing past events or occurrences you are correcting in order to test the hypothesis that may help to explain present events and to anticipate or predict the future events this everything i have explained in definition itself so it is systematic collection and objective evaluation of data related to past occurrences in order to test hypothesis that may help to explain present events and anticipate future events what is the purpose see to reach conclusion about past events or occurrences so you are coming to a conclusion about the past events which has occurred in the past okay to entail compile present and interpret factual information okay so to entail compile present and interpret the facts or information about the past events okay so this is with regard to historical research studies i am again uh, telling you that we have posted a separate video on historical research you can watch our channel playlist for it next we will see phenomenological research what is phenomenological research study it is a design of inquiry coming from philosophy and psychology so you are considering philosophy as well as psychology here the researcher will be describing the lived experiences in which the researcher describes the lived experience of individuals about a phenomena as described by participants for example if you want to study the psychological feeling or the uh, physical hazards what happened uh, in a tsunami victims so instead of asking a person who has not been involved in the scenario uh, you can ask the persons who have affected by means of scenario and who have been escaped from tsunami so in such cases if you are going to collect the data they will be giving the real life experiences of what has happened and what impact it had both physically psychologically socially economically philosophically in all the aspects they can be able to give a better interpretation so phenomenological research study is a design of inquiry coming from philosophy and psychology in which the researcher describes the lived experience or lived experiences about the phenomena as described by the participants so here the researcher is not discussing the participants are discussing they are giving the data or information so features it examines human experiences through the description provided by the people involved for example as i told tsunami like that earthquake suppose a, a person who has been survived from an earthquake uh, if you are going and asking them they will be telling better what is the experience how they have come out of that experience what and all uh, they have seen everything they will tell or the emotional impact uh, everything they will be telling okay so it is what uh, you are getting the information from the persons who are involved in a particular scenario or a phenomena purpose to clarify and enlighten how people understand and comprehend certain phenomena see for us as i have told earthquake we have not uh, uh, seen an earthquake so we, we might be telling uh, this may happen that may happen but a person who has seen it who has been survived from an earthquake if you are going to ask them they will have a different scenario and they will present it in a different way because they have been involved both physically and psychologically they have been disturbed by means of that scenario okay so this is called as what phenomenological approach next is ethnography ethnography means something related to culture so ethnography is a design of inquiry coming from anthropology and sociology okay so that is social and behavioral sciences in which the researcher studies the behavior language and actions of a certain cultural group in a natural setting for a prolonged period of time so suppose if you want to understand the life structure the lifestyle of a tribal people you, you cannot sit here and you can analyze it you should go and you should uh, mingle with those person and you have to stay for a period of time maybe for one month or three month or six months like that you have to stay with them and you have to study that type of study is called as ethnography so this is mainly uh, 
used in order to study the life habits, lifestyles, culture, customs, religion, belief uh, and all you can uh, learn of a particular group you can learn by means of ethnography. So ethnography is the design of inquiry coming from anthropology and sociology in which the researcher studies the behavior language and actions of a particular cultural group in a natural setting for a prolonged period of time. Let's see the features. The features, the information is collected from a certain cultural group by living with the people of those groups and from the key informants. So you have to be there and you have to collect the information for a period of time. You have to be, you have to mingle with them so that you can better understand their culture, everything, tradition, everything. So, and also you can collect the information not only by observing, you can ask them, you can ask the people, okay, you can take a uh, interview with the people and you can collect the information so they because the key informants are uh, the key informants are uh, believed to be more knowledgeable about the selected culture suppose if they are doing something uh, if they are celebrating a festival a folk festival means uh, you are just observing but if you are going to ask a um, uh, head of that uh, particular culture so why the folk festival has been performed in such a way means they can give you a better idea about the importance of such uh, things what is happening in that particular cultural group next purposes to understand the culture of your population through their behavior artifacts verbatim in their natural context data so to understand the culture of your population through their behavior artifacts verbatim in their natural uh, context data so you are taking an interview you are assessing uh, so you are seeing the behavior and you are seeing that historical uh, uh, collection of things uh, everything and you are coming to a conclusion and you to have better understanding about a particular culture so that is the main purpose of this ethnographic studies next is action research studies action research is an approach in which the researcher and client collaborate in the diagnosis of the problem and the development of its solution so here the researcher will be working with the client in order to identify the problem and uh, how to solve the problem so in what solution you can put uh, what action you can take to solve the problem so this is called as action research it is an approach in which the researcher and client will be collaborating so they will work together in finding out the problem and uh, how to get a solution to that problem the features are it seeks action to improve practices and study the effect of the action that was taken so seeks action to improve practices and study the effect of the action that was taken so suppose if they have identified that um, poor uh, environmental hygiene is a cause for uh, um, diarrheal diseases and uh, malaria like that communic so many communicable diseases so here the researcher has identified along with the client they both have identified and they have taken some measures to improve the environmental hygiene to control the mosquito breeding places like that and all so that after doing all these things whether the disease rate whether the diarrheal diseases whether the malaria filaria and all whether it has uh, reduced so that you can see by means of this action research studies next is purpose to identify helpful resources or techniques to identify helpful resources or techniques to guide the generation of ideas to develop alternative solutions to the problem so first to identify the problem then to develop an action uh, to get rid out of that problem so to come out of that problem then to identify helpful resources or techniques then to guide the generation of ideas to develop alternative solutions to the problem so this is with regard to action research studies next last one is grounded theory which is very very important because uh, grounded theory design involves the collection and analysis of data to support theoretical explanation of your phenomena so some practical thing is occurring means what is the theory based on that particular phenomena so this grounded theory is going to add on to your body of knowledge that is theory theoretical knowledge is going to enhanced by means of grounded theory the theory is grounded when actual data is supported by another set of theoretical explanation so the theory is grounded when actual data what you have collected is supported by some other data 
or some other theoretical explanation. So what are the features? Theory is developed inductively. Okay, inductively from specific to general. Inductive reasoning means from specific to general conclusion. From a corpus of data acquired by a participant observer. So the, how the theory is developed? It is developed from inductively. That is from specific to general observations. From a data acquired by a participant observer. Here also the observer should be a participant in where you are going to collect the data. Purpose. The primary purpose of this design strategy is to evolve or ground a theory in the context in which the phenomena under study occurs. So what area you are going to do, it should have a supportive theory. Okay, the primary purpose of this design strategy is to evolve or identify a ground a theory in the context in which the phenomena under study occurs. So this is with regard to grounded theory. So in qualitative uh, research designs you have seen six types of research designs. So what are the six types? So the six types of research design are case study, historical study, phenomenological study, ethnographic study, action research study and grounded theory study. Hope this video is clear for you all. If you have any doubts, please feel free to post your doubts in comment section. As I have told earlier, my previous videos link I have given in the end card, suggested I card as well as in description box. Also, you can watch our channel playlist BSC Nursing Research and Statistics for more research and statistics related videos. We have also posted videos on BSC Nursing question papers. So you can watch our channel playlist. Earwise, we have posted for more question papers from NTR University of Health Sciences, Vijayawada, Andhra Pradesh. Thank you friends. Keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel.